It's a small hole in the robotic arm connected to the International Space Station. The Canadian Space Agency says it was struck by a piece of flying space junk. But the arm, built and provided by Canada, is still operational. The arm's in great shape. The, the arm has been cleared to continue nominal operations, and we're doing that. Robotic operators noticed the damage during a routine inspection last month. But experts say the lucky strike is another reason to pay close attention to a sea of orbiting space debris, zooming by at speeds of more than 17,000 miles per hour. What happened with the Canadian arm is an example of debris that's going very fast and can go right through something. And that's pretty dangerous. Orbiting up there, at least 23,000 known pieces of space debris of all shapes and sizes. Some as small as a screw, others the size of a softball, or chunks of old defunct satellites. All of it tracked by the U.S. Space Surveillance Network. And while the space station can alter its position slightly if needed to dodge debris, and NASA can instruct its crew members to take shelter, close calls with all of that debris in outer space are really nothing new. Three, two... One. Mission and lift off. In April, the astronauts on board the SpaceX Dragon were alerted by mission control that their ship would come uncomfortably close to a piece of debris. That crew ordered back into their spacesuits because of the unlikely chance of a collision. We do need you to immediately proceed with suit donning and securing yourselves in seats. Okay, we're getting in the suit and uh, we copy all. Minutes later, that debris, possibly a chunk of an old satellite, passed harmlessly by 28 miles away. So as we launch more and more satellites, there's going to be more and more chances of collision. And with those collisions, it's going to cause even more pieces of debris. Tom, I was today yeah. years old when I found out there was a space surveillance network uh, that tracks all of the space debris. But some countries, are they doing more to try and remove it altogether? So this is a big priority. Right now, a Japanese company called Astroscale uh, is actually working on a project. Project. They, they want to essentially, they've already launched a satellite into orbit, and then that satellite will try to match up with, dock with, other old junk, old satellite pieces, and kind of grab onto it almost, you know, with a magnet, and then force that down to Earth. The trouble is, you know, we mentioned 23,000 pieces. The truth is there could be hundreds of thousands of pieces up there, depending on how many, how you classify them. So this is a massive cleanup operation, and it will take an awful lot of money, an awful lot of time, potentially years to get this done. Sounds like space is a mess. Tom Costello. Yeah. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.